a historic day here in Boiling Springs, North Carolina, as Gardner-Webb football gets their guy, Trey Lamb, an offensive guru from Tennessee Tech. Coach, walk me through this whole process and how you got here and why Gardner-Webb was such a nice fit for you. Well, you know, um, the process has been a little crazy because it's going quickly, and we have a our, our first child was born about 10 days ago. So it's been difficult, but it's been a great transition. The people here have been unbelievable. Um, Gardner-Webb has a vision that I don't think people have seen um, in a long time. And I think that starts with, with Dr. Downs, Chuck Birch. Those guys want to be good. They want to create a winning culture, and they want to do it the right way. Um, that's why I was attracted to me. Uh, they wanted something fresh. They wanted something new. Um, and and I, I jumped at it, and uh, I'm so glad I did, and I can't wait to get started here. As an offensive mind yourself, a former quarterback, you have a quarterback in Jordan Smith who's going to be returning, coming off a little bit of surgery, and you have some nice weapons on the outside in Gathings and Harper. What's your plan for this offense? Well, we got to use what we got. You know, you can't put a square peg in a round hole. And, uh, you know, I believe in, in throwing the ball, running the ball. Uh, I want to make them defend 53 and a third yards. I want to make them run side to side. I want to use motions, formations. I'm not scared to throw the ball deep 15 times a game, and I'm not scared to run trick plays or try anything new. So we want to create as much juice and energy as we can um, on offense, but we also have to be very good on defense and possess the ball and make sure we're not leaving them out there all game as well. So um, defensively, I want to create turnovers, keep the ball in front of us, stay above the cut, and get after the quarterback. Those are some of the things I believe in. So. In that press conference you just had, you talked a lot about how you wanted to make it an atmosphere and an event on Saturdays. What has the reception been from the crowd thus far? Oh, it's been great. Um, it just, it's just going to take some action. You know, you could put family on the back of a T-shirt. That didn't make you a family. you got to act it out. you got to be doers of the word, as the good Lord teaches us. And uh, we got we got to give them a product they want to see and, and continue to come to games in October and, and November. Um, and we want to make game day traditions a, a thing, and we want to make our alumni proud. So it is uh, anybody that's ever worn the, the Gardner-Webb jersey or anybody that's currently wearing the Gardner-Webb Bulldog jersey, we want to make them proud, and they're the lifeblood of the program. So we want to create traditions that they're proud of. Speaking of tradition, uh, the culture that you're going to bring into this locker room, onto the field on Saturday, into the stands, what does that culture look like? Uh, it's going to be fun, first and foremost. It's, it's something we get to do. We don't have to do it. Uh, we get to show up to work every day. We get to show up to meetings, to film, to practice, to weights, to games. Um, it's a get to, not a have to. I think it starts with that and make it a fun atmosphere. And then the second, we're going to love these guys and hold them accountable. Um, if you love somebody, you care about them, and they know that, you can coach them however you want to coach them. And uh, that's kind of my philosophy. I'm not scared to use the L word. Um, I think the power of positive thinking is, is, is very powerful, and uh, we're going to use those, those two things, love and positivity, to, to get our culture going. And finally, Coach, how does it sound? Head coach of Gardner-Webb football, Trey Lamb. It sounds great. we got a got a lot of work in front of us, but I'm so thankful and humbled. The good Lord's blessed me, my family. I'm so thankful for that. So uh, I'm excited to get started. So let's, let's get it done. Well, guys, you heard it here first from the new head honcho in Trey Lamb. For more information about him, this hire, and the press conference, check out GWSports.com.